Here he is. Well, good morning. Mr. Sheen. How are you? I'm very well. <laughs> Matt. It's a pleasure, man. How are you? Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for being here today. Thanks for having this me. This is going to be a cracking day. Yeah, it's fabulous. fabulous. You've turned on the weather for us. Longer boats are coming to win us. They're coming to win us. They're coming to win us. Have a look at this. I think we've named the boat after you. You know, that is one of my nicknames. I what? don't know if somebody mentioned that. Legend? Yes. <laughs> did you give yourself the nickname Charlie? I did not. I did not. How sure are you about that? Just not that guy, you know? Okay, right. Not that guy, but Charlie Sheen has been this guy. I have one speed, I have one gear. Go. The Jaws. I am on a drug, it's called Charlie Sheen. Of life. I'm a, I'm a high priest, uh, Vatican assassin, warlock. Off the rails, out of control. When you got tiger blood and Adonis DNA, man, it's like. <sighs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't think so. Winner, winner, sheen dinner. But the Charlie I'm meeting today seems relatively normal. On his way here, he even stopped to wash his own car. There was one guy watching me uh, dry it off this morning. Um, and as he, as he pulled away, he gave me a thumbs up. Good job, Charlie. So that was nice. He's like, there's nice. Charlie Sheen washing his own car. Yeah. Man. He's, it... th he's thinking, wow, that's a man of action. Or that dude is <laughs> falling on hard times. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it? Um, I, you know, it depends how you look at hard times. We need to hack up the person responsible for this bad connection. Hack him up into pieces in front of his what? children. These are what Charlie now considers his hard times. Must maybe even marry a tree. Marry a tree because, you know, the other type of marriage for me didn't work, so I'm just gonna marry a tree. Drug-fueled outbursts that he says are behind him. It is what it is. It is what it is. What it was isn't what you thought it is because it is what it is because you claim so. And where better to reflect on the madness of all that than on a calm Pacific Ocean? The worst day of fishing is still better than the best day of work. Yeah doing something he's loved do since he was a kid. You're competitive, Charlie? Who's gonna, who's gonna get the biggest fish? I mean, I'm not terribly competitive. Um, I, got a, I got a good feeling about it, though. Okay, you know? good. You ever go out fishing with the family, Charlie? Uh, my dad took me um, when I was a child quite a bit. Um, yeah? Yeah. Is he a good fisherman, your dad? No, he just, <laughs> he just did it. He just did it for me, you know? Charlie Sheen's father is actor Martin Sheen, star of Apocalypse Now. I'm here a week now, waiting for a mission, getting softer. Charlie had a privileged upbringing, and thanks to his famous dad, there were plenty of opportunities to pursue a career in Hollywood. You ought to spend a little more time dealing with yourself, a little less time worrying about what your brother does. His older brother, Emilio, led the way. McCloskey's with us. He's a regulator. Yeah, but he used to ride with Murphy. That's what I'm talking about. That was a long time ago. He's a spy! Charlie's breakout role came when he was just 21 in the Oscar-winning movie Platoon. I volunteered. I dropped out of college and told him I wanted the infantry, combat, and Vietnam. You volunteered for this shit, man? You believe that? A year later, he starred in another big-budget blockbuster, Wall Street. This time with his dad playing no. his dad. What I see is a jealous old machinist who can't stand the fact that his son's become more successful than he has. What you see is a guy who never measured a man's success by the size of his what? What's your, your relationship like with your old man? Oh, it's terrific. Yeah? yeah it's excellent. Yeah, he's, he's fabulous. Yeah? You're somebody, still, somebody. still really close? Oh, yeah. We're best of friends. And his dad has been there every step of Charlie's volatile career, standing by him in the good times and the bad. This is not an easy moment in our lives, but my son was admitted here yesterday as a result of a drug overdose. Meanwhile, back on our boat... Boom, just like that. ...the fish are starting to bite. I might have something. You getting, yeah? Well, I can't be sure. Hmm, I may also. Really? I didn't have a fish, but Charlie certainly did. Oh, oh not look too at that. bad. Look at that. You've done all right here. Right on. Yes, that'll well get, done. That'll get it done, man. Not bad. Cool. That's uh, that's an eating fish at the top. That <laughs> yes, could, well, yes. could, uh, could well end up on the barbie. Sure can. Charlie's caught one and a half fish, 
which is as good a cue as we'll ever get to talk about two and a half men. Charlie's hit TV show. Everything okay, Miss Harper? My date just cancelled. Can't the service send over another girl? Charlie played a freewheeling, often out of control uncle. A role that fit him like a glove. You have $5,000 in your sweatpants? I prefer to think of it as three hookers and a Philly cheesesteak. And over the eight years he starred in the series, Charlie's real life became a drama of its own. Charlie in the back. He was earning a fortune and spending it on drugs, parties and prostitutes. Charlie Sheen went on a wild sex and drug binge at his home in Los Angeles. Police were called and allegedly found Sheen drunk and naked in a trashed hotel room. Two and a half men, you're earning 1.8 million an ep. There was that. That was quite the ride. Um, yeah, What's I didn't, that I like? Didn't, it's, it's a little surreal. Yeah. It's a little surreal. Yeah. It's fair to say, I think, that, you know, there certainly were those nights where you just you just wouldn't remember oh, of course. what had gone on. Of it was course. total blackout. Well, yeah, but that was sort of the goal of that particular night. But it'd be, <laughs> so it'd be setting out to say, I'm just going to get obliterated. No, no it's, it's to have a good time. And then there's that one moment where everything just turns. Because you judge me, you condemn me, you discarded me. Well, <laughs> not anymore. Winning! You just get to a point where it just gets... It gets so shameful, you know. It gets embarrassing, and and you know that you're that you're better than that, and you deserve better than uh, than 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 what you've given yourself and what you're delivering upon others. But before Charlie reached that point, he was spiralling out of control. Charlie Sheen has spent Christmas Day behind bars, regularly checking in and out of drug rehab. Sheen was later taken away on a stretcher. His second wife took out a restraining order. His third accused him of assault. You know, my husband had me with a knife and I'm scared for my life and he threatened me. But what really ruined Charlie's career... Welcome, Chuck Lorre. ...was a bitter attack in 2011 on the creator of Two and a Half Men, Chuck Lorre. If sad and stupid had a foul odour attached, it would be you, fuck Lorre. Even though Charlie was the biggest star on television, he was fired. How tough was it when it all imploded and, you, and, and the two and a half men thing collapsed? Uh, it was a lot. It was a lot to deal with. Uh, I didn't handle it well. Um, I kind of got swept up in the tsunami of everything that was going on. You know, uh, I could have mended it. Instead, I just rode a, a trade wind uh, in, in, into absolute <laughs> insanity. You picked a fight with a warlock, you little worm. Some are saying that you're bipolar. I'm by winning It's not lost on me that there was not a lot of winning going on in and around all of that, you know. <laughs> Look at these two. Wow. Who's got it better than me? I'm just going to hang on right here. When a porn star and a model moved in, Charlie's life became a TV soap opera. Um, these are my girlfriends. These are the women that I love that, um, that, have, that have completed the, uh, the three parts of my heart. They're the best at what they do, and I'm the best at what I do, and together it's like, it's on. But the truth was, Charlie was hitting rock bottom. I'm here to, to admit that I am, in fact, uh, HIV positive. He began his recovery by going public with his HIV diagnosis. It's, 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 it's a hard um, three letters to absorb. At its darkest day, at its deepest moment, how bad was that for you? I felt hopeless. And I've never believed in anything being hopeless. Everything was always like, ah, don't worry, don't worry, we got this. We'll figure a way out of this. And then like, we'll, it, it we'll turned squirrel it. out of it, yeah. we'll get out of it, yes. we'll reinvent. We'll manage our way back to the surface. And then it just got to a point where it was like, oh, there's no... Um, there's no, there's no route <laughs> to, uh, towards extraction, you know? When you hit that point, well, what does that feel like? It's frustrating. It's frustrating because when you <laughs> live a life where you've, been, you've managed solution on so many fronts and suddenly <laughs> you just don't have one, um, it's, 
it's frustrating. It took time, but Charlie found a solution. Quitting drugs and alcohol and doing all he could to repair the damage he caused to his family. What about with your family? Is that something that you've been able to fix? Yes, yes it is, yeah, and if, if not fixed, fixing. Yep. I got five kids, three granddaughters, you know, I got <laughs> responsibilities everywhere. What's really cool about not getting, you know, uh, going sideways every night is um, it's nice to know that, that any time that phone rings, day or night, that I'm, I'm available at the drop of a hat. There's been, you know, suggestions. It's hard, it's tough making child support payments, those sorts of things. Are any of those reports true? Uh, is uh, that something you want no, to No, I've never missed one. Yeah. I've never missed a payment. Uh, I can't pay as much. Can't pay what you don't have. Yeah. But that's all right, you know? Sometimes you got to get back to, uh, back to basics to, uh, to rebuild, you know? So there's a lot of people who think, People are incapable of change, that maybe this is just Charlie sitting here disguising it, that this isn't the real new and improved. Is it real? Sure. Is it genuine? Today it is. It feels real. It feels genuine. And tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow is not here yet. Next so. week? Yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> it, uh, none of us can predict the future, you know? Yeah. Um, no, it's definitely genuine. Oh, boys. Amazing, thank you. And well, as if you to prove to me how genuine he is about this new version of himself, I've ordered a beer with our fish barbecue. Charlie's gone for juice. It's a cranberry and soda <laughs> with about 12 ice cubes. You squeeze you, a lemon. Even as you say that, do you hear the, <laughs> the kind of the humour, the irony there? I do. We've been on the boat all day, you're not going to have one beer. Um, it's just, it's it's... It's better for everyone if I don't. Well, it's just I'll, better. I'll tell you it's, what. It's safer for everyone if I don't. I'll cheers you to that. Absolutely. Cheers. <laughs>